Selam dostlar bugün eşimle birlikteyim ve ChatGPT İngilizce nasıl kullanabilirsiniz onu deneyeceğiz. ChatGPT ile İngilizce anlaşmaya çalışacağız ve İngilizce gramer kurallarını ChatGPT bize öğretecek. Pronunciation yani kelimelerin söyleniş şekillerini ChatGPT bize nasıl öğretebilir ve en önemlisi de eşimle birlikte eş zamanlı çeviri yapacağız. Ben İngilizce konuşacağım, eşim Endonezya konuşacak ve ChatGPT bunu bize eş zamanlı bir şekilde çevirecek ve en sonunda da bunun değerlendirmesini yapacağız. Ç- ChatGPT dediğimiz bir şekilde yaptı mı veya ChatGPT İngilizce öğrenmek isteyen kişiler için uygun bir program mı? Bunların hepsini deneyeceğiz. Haydi bakalım başlayalım. So welcome to my channel. Thank you. So I just uh, brief explain what are we gonna do and uh, we're gonna talk to ChatGPT and try the things uh, I just mentioned. Now I'm going to talk to ChatGPT. Hi ChatGPT, how is it going? I am with my wife now and we are going to talk to you in English. Is that okay for you? Hi there. That's absolutely okay with me. I'm glad to chat with both of you. What's on your minds today? Nice. Would you like to briefly explain what do we want to do today? So today we're going to test you whether you can be our partner in speaking, especially in pronunciation. That sounds like a fun challenge. I'm ready when you are. How would you like to start? Yeah, there are some words that actually very common, but uh, it's a bit difficult for us to pronounce. So can you fix that? For example, for me, is it probably or probably? Sure, I can help with that. Both probably and probably are correct, but probably is the more standard pronunciation. Probably is a more casual, informal way of saying it. Oh, okay. Do you want to give probably a try? Can I try? So, sure. pr- probably, I that when you talk very fast, right? Uh-huh. People do say pro- uh-huh. probably. Yeah. Pro- probably. That was a good try. Let's slow it down a bit. Probably. Breaking it down can help with pronunciation. Give it another shot. Probably. Much better. Great job with breaking it down. Keep practicing okay. and it'll get easier. Let's Do try another uh, like Let's with? try another word. Uh, I have difficulties to pronounce uh, usually. Is that correct? Ah, that one's a bit tricky. It's rural. Try focusing on the two distinct parts. Rur and No, actually I meant I meant actually the oh, word I... usually. Is that correct? Got it. The word is usually. It has three syllables. U shu wo li. Want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. U shu wo li. Nice try. You're almost there. Let's work on the middle part. You, you, That's great. Oh, so it's it's been a great help. Thank you. So I think for pronunciation, that's all. And we can uh, start with something else, um, which is grammar rule. I want you to correct our uh, mistakes so far if we had any. I'm glad I could help with pronunciation. About your grammar, you've actually been doing quite well. Your sentences have been clear and grammatically sound. If you'd like, we can go over some common grammar give rules it, or specific questions you might have. Do you want to give it What a try, think? a complicated sentence and then make it on purpose wrong and then... Yesterday, my parents and I go to the park and we went there with bus. On top of the okay. bus, we... <laughs> Got it. We Let's fix bring... The Wait, <laughs> on top of the bus we bring our camel too. What? <laughs> that was any that mistake? Sounds like quite the No worries. Let's revise that. Yesterday, my parents and I went to the park and we took a bus there. On top of the bus, we brought our camel too. That's quite the image. Sounds like a fun day. <laughs> <laughs> so what what was the mistake uh, she just made? The main mistakes were in verb tense and word choice. Instead of go to the park, It should be went to the park to match the past tense. Okay. Also, instead of we go there with bus, it should be we took a bus there. And finally, we bring our camel should be we brought our camel to okay. keep it in the past tense. Nice, that's cool. So let me try uh, another one. If I go to London, I can see the Big Ben. Great effort. To correct the sentence, it should be if I go to London, I can see Big Ben. Nicely done. That was that correct? So what's the mistake? Yes, it was almost correct. 
The only small mistake was missing the article the before Big Ben. In this case, okay. it should be C Big Ben without the. Okay, got it. Okay. What, why is that then? Good question. Landmarks like Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, or Tower Bridge often don't need the because uh -huh. they're unique and easily identifiable. Okay. It's like using a proper noun for a person. You wouldn't say the before someone's name. Uh, this like kind of special uh, name, so... Exactly. Okay. Special names for famous landmarks don't need the. Got They're it. unique so, enough on their own. Do you wanna give another try for Grum Rule? <laughs> <laughs> How about this sentence? If I were you, I would never buy that cheap things. The sentence is very close. Just a couple of small tweaks. If I were you, I would never buy those cheap things. Instead of that, those is better here because things is plural. Got it. Oh, great. So now we're gonna try with you just GPT something else. Um, my wife is going to speak in Indonesian language. She's from Indonesia and I am going to speak in English and we are gonna try to communicate and you are going to translate what she says in Indonesian to me. Kabarku baik, terima kasih udah bertanya. Ngomong-ngomong, gimana kabarmu? She said, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. By the way, how are you? Was that great? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh thanks for asking, I'm doing great today. Uh, do you have any plan for tomorrow? She said, terima kasih sudah bertanya. Kabarku baik hari ini. Kamu ada rencana untuk esok? Kabar baik. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> At the end. She responded, no, not yet. I didn't respond, wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, my apologies. She responded, belum, belum ada rencana. Which means... Okay, I think it's been, no it's been now, uh, you, you are confused because we have been talking, like it's a bit complicated. I think really? we, we need okay, to keep it know. simple. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Got I'll, it. I'll, I'll keep it simple. Let me know when you're ready okay. to continue. Okay. All right, let's continue. Besok aku akan membersihkan rumah dan juga memasak. Bagaimana denganmu? She said, "Tomorrow I'm going to clean the house and also cook. What about you?" Wow, that's great idea. Since you cook um, and clean the house, what can I do? I think I can watch movies or just entertain. <laughs> yeah. We mom get a can kurallar nedeniyle. I think it's restricted, that's why probably it, it keeps like saying I cannot talk uh, about this and about that. Uh, about what? What are we talking about? I don't know. Like, while you are cooking and cleaning the house, I'm gonna entertain uh, a bit and then I'm gonna watch movies. He said, Selagi kamu memasak dan membersihkan rumah, aku akan menghibur diri sebentar, lalu menonton film. Wow, that that's correct? so good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, nice. Gimana sih kalau kamu cuma nonton film, kamu nggak bantuin aku? She said, "What? If you just watch movies, you're not helping me." Wow, well, okay, that's great answer. So, uh, <laughs> uh, well, then I can help you a bit. Then we can watch the movie together. He said, "Baiklah, aku akan membantu sedikit." Lalu kita bisa menonton film bersama. Okay, deal. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that's been great. Yeah. great. Sounds like right? a plan. Are you both happy with that arrangement? Do you want to try anything else? I think if you forget some tongue twister, I want to try if I can uh, use ChatGPT to remind me. Okay, in English, you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, ChatGPT. I want to practice tongue twister in English. Can you please say to me the seashell thing? That's so famous, but I don't remember. Can you say that to me? Sure. The famous tongue twister goes, she sells seashells by the seashore. Give it a try. Oh, that's good. She sells uh, seashells by the D. By what was that? <laughs> You're close. It's she sells seashells by the seashore. Keep practicing and you'll get it. Okay, so 
ChatGPT can help us to remember if we forget. Yeah. Uh, thank you, ChatGPT. It was great to talk to you, and we'll talk later. Bye. <laughs> so as if it's calling. Yeah. So now uh, we're gonna continue uh, with evaluation. So how was it? I think to me it wasn't bad. It did uh, mostly great. But there was one point, for example, it was saying like to me she and to you he or uh, I think. No, no, he, uh, uh, both of us. She. Yeah, it cannot re recognize the voice. Uh, the voice, whether it's male, male and, and female. female. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and what else? It did. Uh, I think at some points there are some words that you cannot say because uh, it's easy to be confused for ChatGPT. So it's like reset or restricted or something. Yeah, I think, yeah, uh, especially in Europe, but I'm using it with VPN now. That's why okay. I think uh, it shouldn't be that restricted. Mm -hmm. But according to a region you are uh, in, ChatGPT has some restrictions. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes it thinks you talk about something not appropriate and mm -hmm. that's why it avoids uh, that okay. conversation. In the middle of conversation, it started talking in Turkish. Uh, yeah, so that but was, yeah. if I don't know English at all, that's really great great partner i think yeah exactly yeah but i think there was another uh, mistake we were talking uh, it didn't translate one one of the sentences we were told you were talking in basa indonesia mm. and then uh, it was translating all the time and after with a warning it didn't translate it so we needed to tell tell it to Absolutely. translate yeah that, i think uh, this new feature is like you can interrupt it and also it continues uh, with with the flow and of of course, it's a bit difficult. If there was another person here, it would be difficult to do the conversation as well, actually, mm -hmm. with three people, you know? That's why I think, to me, it, it was really successful. But uh, do you think it's uh, efficient for, for example, I go to another country mm -hmm. and I want to speak that language with other people and use the real-time uh, translation with ChatGPT or with mm -hmm. Google Translate is enough, do you think? I never tried Google Translate like this, but I think there, there's no that feature, this feature in Google Translate, uh, first of all, like you cannot do simultaneous with trans sound, translation, with yeah, but you need to, you need to read it, you know, like, uh, but this is at the same time, it, it translates it at the same time. So do you think it helps? Uh, but I think uh, for Indonesian language, uh, Google Translator is not helping at all because it's mm. usually doing mistakes. Yeah. And ChatGPT is doing it great, I guess. Uh, okay. So nice. Yeah, this was the paid version of the ChatGPT we tried today and uh, with my wife. And then we do have a channel for Indonesian people. If you guys are interested, please don't forget to visit that channel as well. And hopefully we'll see you in another video. Bye bye.